Oh, perfect. I'll start the recording then. Great. So, man, Just Swipe has to be, I mean, I know we just, we're only in January right now, but it has to be one of the funniest movies I got to watch in 2022. Oh. It was so good. Thanks so much for saying that. You know, we're so proud of it. Uh, and there are a lot of funny people in that, you know, not just Jody and I coming from the full house background and sitcoms, but Alec Mappa, I think oh, is God. a genius. I mean, I can't say enough about him. He's right. Just, he steals the show. I mean, he's just hysterical. Yeah. So how, how did that pro this project come about? So uh, Elizabeth Blake Thomas, uh, who directed this, came to me with this project. She had been my first AD on my first film as a director called Deathlink, which is actually out now. It just came out about a month ago from Gravitas, and it's on all the platforms. Um, and, um, and wonderful woman, really good at her job. Um, and, uh, and she basically said, look, I got this movie. I, I thought of you for the, for the lead. And do you want to do this and, and help me produce this? And, uh, and that's really how things have been for me lately. You know, it all started with Reboot Camp where Evil Raza came to me and said, I, I wrote this script. I had you in mind for the lead. And uh, do you want to do this? And do you want to help produce it? Um, and then I end up becoming the producer. Uh, and uh, putting the whole thing together um, with help from very good people in my team. But um, that, that's what happened in my first, I mean, I read the script and instantly I just said, Jody. I mean, uh, I've known Jody for, obviously for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was on that show 1994, 1995. Um, and return, so we returned for that brief stint in fuller house i did that's right they came they brought me back season two and then the final season of fuller house so i got two episodes of that um but really uh it was it, it just spoke to me that jody would be the perfect person for this and we both happen to have the same manager uh on top of everything and i, I called rachel i said send this to to jody I think she'd be perfect for it. And uh, we made it work. Um, and, uh, and thank God, because she, she really is uh, phenomenal in this movie. I can't say enough about her. Um, and then Elizabeth and I just kind of rolled up our sleeves and got to work and said, okay, let's figure out how to fill out the rest of the cast. Um, we had um, uh, a great casting director with Sarah O'Neill, who sourced a lot of great talent for us. Um, I did my usual. I called a bunch of my buddies uh, and said, I need a favor. Come come do a day or two on this for me. And Eddie McClintock is back um, as the stripper pole guy. Um, who's, I mean, he's, he's just a great, funny character actor. And my friend Kelly Price came in and he played the steak guy um, from those horrible dates. Um, and that's what we did. We filled in, you know, all these parts with good people. And we had a lot of good people in this. I, I made a joke that, um, all right, well, first you went after DJ. Now you're going after Stephanie. So, but <laughs> it's like you couldn't get DJ. So what, but then again, she married Jimmy at the end of Fuller House. So, but what was great about the film was even though you two have the screens between you because of it being set during the pandemic for somehow you guys still had such great chemistry together. And that's what the heart of the film was like, and Thanks just for saying that, you know, it, it's like, and it, it, you know, it is ironic because it was the older sister that I was uh, dating on Full House. And then here I am now with the younger sister uh, in this movie. But look, I, like I said, I've known Jody a long time. So there, there is a built up friendship over years there. So for us to, to meet and connect um, was not a new thing. And um, it was new in a romantic sense, but it was not new yeah. uh, on a friendship sense. But you know, what's amazing about this movie is we are in this age, we've become so modernized where it's like, we pick these things up. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, hey, where are you? Good, want to meet? And the next thing you know, you're in bed with somebody. Mm -hmm. And then you get to know them. And what are the lessons of COVID? What are the lessons of quarantine? What, what did it force us to maybe reimagine on how we've been doing things in a positive way? And it, what is the point of a movie if not to find a positive message, uh, even in the worst and darkest of times? And so I think we've got a really strong message here, which is maybe we should get to know each other first before we jump into bed. And when you see the contrast of her pre-COVID to then her in this situation where she's forced to get to know this guy before they can actually meet in person, 
Right. Um, it's really like an old fashioned romance. It's the way it used to it be. Is. There's a courting it, period. There's exactly a get to know the is. person period. And so by the time you're, you're intimate with somebody, you've developed a friendship, you've developed a relationship that was not based on something physical, but based on something deeper than that, something emotional and a true connection. Um, and so I, I think that for me was, was the most uplifting part of the movie and, and maybe a message for everybody to say, look, instead of focusing on what we've lost during these past two years, let's focus on maybe something we've gained. And I think this is something we've gained. I totally agree with that. And um, I have to say what really helped was Danielle and Alec because yeah, Danielle as the girl who was in a relationship. And then we later learned that her boyfriend did some wrong but Alec, man, I can't get enough of him. He's just, he's just hysterical. Just the stuff he said to you when he, when he first meets your character <laughs> with the hair, I just, I just got <laughs> died when I heard that. He, he was, yeah. was so great. I mean, he, I don't think he could have found a better actor. Viper hair is gone, unfortunately. Yeah. But, uh, but yes, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, Danielle being a stand-up comic herself, Alec, you know, who's, I think, a comedic genius. Funny enough, you know, he had a pilot going. Um, I, I, it's shocking that 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 fell through. Well, in light of you know certain events, maybe not. But um, you know, he was starring on a on a new sitcom with Alec Baldwin and Kelsey Grammer that the creator of Modern Family had created. And uh, you'd figure like, this is like the home run of comedy right here. Mm -hmm. uh, and Alec Baldwin had said that, that Alec Moppa is the funniest uh, actor he'd ever worked with. Um, so, and that, you know, that's a guy who's won more comedy enemy, uh, Emmys than probably anybody. Yeah. Uh, certainly a whole bunch of them. And Kelsey Grammer, I mean, the two of them put together, you're talking about, a, I don't know, you need a big bookshelf for all those best actor in a comedy wins. Yeah, um, yeah. So the fact that Alec was the third piece to that just speaks to, to just how highly talented he is. So yeah, he, he was a huge coup. Danielle, you know, if you've seen Curb Your Enthusiasm, she was in there, uh, the Larry David show. Um, she's no stranger to comedy. So that's what you got to do with a good rom-com. You got to put in these character comedy people around the people playing it straight. Um, to really have a good time. And especially when we're dealing with a film like this, where there's a whole bunch of scenes where I'm like this talking yeah. to the laptop, um, you know, because that's the situation we were in. But a lot of these movies have been so boring and so difficult to watch with these Zoom relationships and things um, that I think Elizabeth did a really good job in keeping it moving mm -hmm. and, um, and keeping the comedy flowing. Yeah, and I think the other thing is, like like you mentioned, you know, some of these Zoom movies are boring because it just doesn't have the feel, it doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel natural. It feels forced when it comes in right. between what you guys pulled it off nicely. And the funny, I think the, I love your comeback at one point where you and Jody finally get intimate <laughs> and Alec and Danielle are, end up watching and then you said, well, I always wanted to force them, but I never expected this. <laughs> Just that comeback alone, I'm like, this that was that's pure comedy. I wanted to force them, didn't quite expect it to go like this, but yeah. yeah, that was amazing. That's like pure. I mean, that's what makes this film work. You got the comebacks, you got the one-liners, you got it. Just all of it was worked out perfectly. And we had a lot of fun. You know, we just had it. Just when you have good people, you know, on films like this, where you know a lot of the people, if not you know, all of them. Um, it's like we all are friends. I'm talking about the crew too, you know. I've made seven movies now since COVID started, which is in, almost insane. I mean, it is insane. But um, <laughs> the reason I've been able to do this is because I, you know, I've been on sets that are difficult um, where you don't know the people and you, yeah. you meet them for the first time and you, you, there's always, you know, some good people and there's not such good people. And so, if you don't have good people on your set and you have ego people um, who overstep and make it difficult on set, um, it's just the most difficult thing because it's hard enough to make a movie. It's mm -hmm. physically exhausting to make a movie, but you have that energy where it's exciting and it's fun. And yeah. Then you can do it all day long, right? And, the, and, and you just get through it and you did it together. But when there are those bad apples on the set, Everything is so exhausting. Um, yeah. So, you know, this was an aggressive shoot um, because of COVID. 
because we wanted to keep it as short as possible um, for the lowest risk of somebody getting sick. And, you know, you really think about all these things mm -hmm. in COVID times that you don't think about in normal times. Um, so uh, it just went like a dream is all I got to tell you. And you hear that a lot sometimes from actors like, oh, it was a wonderful experience or whatever, but half time, half the time they're serious, half the time they're not. But this one was truly one of the great experiences in making a movie. And that's because of the people involved, not just in front of the camera, but behind the camera. That's awesome. So yeah. finally, now that Jeff Swipe's coming on February 8th, what's next for you that you can talk about? You got an hour? Uh, <laughs> okay. So in the in the new theaters now, which is the video on demand, yes. uh, I've got Reboot Camp, which uh, came out a few months ago uh, on all the platforms. That's uh, I star in that with Ed Begley Jr., uh, David Koechner from The Office, Joe Rule, the rapper, Chaz Bono, uh, Eddie McClintock again, and a whole uh, Lindsay Shaw, uh, Maya Stoyan. I mean, just a wonderful big cast, Pearson Foday. Um, so that's a hysterical comedy. I will tell you, uh, again, that like Just Swipe, home run in terms of crew, cast, we had a, we had a blast. Um, then Deathlink, my horror film that I directed that I'm also in with Jessica Belkin and uh, Elise Lethman, uh, Riker Lynch and Matt Reif, who's another wonderful stand-up comic and so good looking, it's upsetting. <laughs> uh, he, uh, he, he did a really good job and he's actually in this new film I'm shooting right now called Candy Flip. Um, but that's out right now, uh, Deathlink, um, a Christmas letter just ran in on the CBC in Canada and is on their platform. I think it's called Gem, um, for the Canadians and it'll be here soon in America. I'm assuming for next Christmas, uh, cause we just got it done in time, uh, on the Canadian side. Um, and now just wipe coming out for everybody on, on all the VOD platforms, iTunes especially, you can pre-order right now on iTunes. That is probably the best place to be. Um, and then Amazon and all the others. Um, and then after that, Wolf Mountain was the second film I directed. Uh, I'm gonna finish that in uh, a matter of days um, before I head off to Mississippi to shoot my next film called Hunt Club, uh, which I will tell you more about when the time yeah, comes. <laughs> Damn, you're keeping busy, man. That's good though. Yeah. Cause... It's been, you know, and by the way, there's other films I shot, you know, pre-pandemic that haven't come out yet, like Painted Beauty that I star in with um, Bar Paley, uh, uh, Kevin McNally, Bai Ling. Um, I, I mean, uh, unbelievable cast uh, on that one. Uh, and that uh, Kelly Hu, um, and that will be out, I'm assuming, any day now, because that yeah. one we shot in 2018. Um, Underdogs Rising, I also shot in 2018 in China. That should come out soon. A lot of stuff coming. Yeah. You're like you're like on the level of a Dwayne Johnson. You're just, you're just keeping it going, man. And that's really awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, I, I just, I'm a bit of a workaholic. It's a, it's a thing. I'm working on it. But I guess if you're going to be something maybe that's a better advice than some of the other ones <laughs> there you go keeps so me just, keeps me straight so just swipe will be out on february 8th on all vld platforms and itunes you, everyone who loves who wants to see something different in terms of romantic comedy and wants to see something actually funny and not too boring when it comes to the zoom films will want to see this one actually i i demand that they see this movie <laughs> hands down i'm and demanding, it. I'm demanding. And it. they need to see this movie because it has an excellent cast, great comic timing, and all around love for and the you, film. You just click a button and there it is. It's like, oh, I do. Da, 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 da. Boom, just swipe. There you go. So, David, thank you so much, man, for taking the time to talk about this film. I can't, we got to talk again down the road. When this Absolutely. Movie Let's talk when the next 10 movies come out. That sounds perfect. So One at a time. Yep, awesome. So, thank you so much. You take thank care. you so much. All right. Okay, bye.